Hello YouTube and welcome to a new Tax Laws video with a brand new Huawei P8 Lite 2017 edition. This time we are going to do the setup. We got our SIM card here. We will do the setup process in Android 7.0. This is a brand new version of Android here. We got the new Emotion UI 5.0 and then we will look around how good is the display, what about the speakers, of course the cameras, fingerprint sensors, how much free storage we got, which apps are pre-installed and and and. I got both uh, versions here, the white silver edition and the black black edition. There is also a golden version, uh, but it's not yet available. So first of all, take out your SIM card tray opener, which is in the box at this place here. Uh, you got the SIM card slot on the upper left side and take out the SIM card tray and now you have to decide if you want to use the device with two SIM cards, two nano SIM cards or just one nano SIM card and a micro SD card. Of course you can decide this later as well. I just start with one single nano SIM card. Um, there should be a single SIM version later this year coming out. So then locate the on off button on the right side, push it, push it, whoa, <laughs> keep pushing it, push it, push it, push it. And there we go, the phone vibrates and we see the Huawei logo powered by Android and now we wait. There we go, we saw the new Emotion UI logo, then we select our language, just hit English. Uh, I guess if you hit English again you can vision settings, no I don't want to change the vision settings. You got normal English if you're from, I don't know, there's uh, this is now New Zealand English, but if you scroll down and put, uh, select English, then you get uh, different dialogues. But uh, I just choose English Germany, which would be the same as normal standard English. We hit next, agree to the terms and conditions. Then we got the questions about Wi-Fi plus service, if the Wi-Fi should be turned off and on automatically and about weather services, if it can use our location information. I just say no thank you, I will decide this later. Then our SIM card is already recognized, we got 4G LTE speed here. Now I could skip this and do the rest of the setup with my own data packages, but I'm at home so I will connect to my Wi-Fi, select your Wi-Fi and enter your password. It's now connected, then you have to hit net. The same you do with your Google account, enter your email and password. Then you have to decide about the Google services, do you want to use them or not. You can turn them each by each on or off and then hit next. Protect your phone, do you want to use some sort of pin pattern, passcode or do you want to use the fingerprint sensor on the backside? Of course we want to use this. Uh, then we have to set a screen lock style because in the case your finger is not working or you can't operate you with your finger or someone else have to, to operate the device or unlock the device, enter your pin twice, confirm it, hit next. Then there's a question about do you want to copy data from another device or restore a backup? No, I just want to set it as new device because I want to figure out which apps are pre-installed and how much free storage I got. Then there's a question about the Huawei ID. It's like the same with Samsung or anything. They all want to <laughs> push their own services. Uh, you can just skip this one. And the next question is also about data transfer. Do you want to use Huawei's high suite software or you do want to clone an old phone? Uh, no. And uh, did you recognize the whole user interface design has just changed? Uh, the first steps were into the, in the normal Android user interface. Now we got Huawei's more colorful Emotion UI interface. So I want to set it up as a new phone. And now is the question about the fingerprint touch control. Of course I want to use them and now I can enroll for the fingerprint. I have to put in the pattern, the pen or passcode I just entered 20 seconds ago. Yes, I'm still, the, I don't know why they are doing this. They are just checking out if I still can remember my own pin. Now enroll your finger, just put your finger on it. Don't push, you can't push it. It's not like on a, on a eight with a, with a magic key where you can uh, push the whole fingerprint sensor, no. So keep on putting different parts of your finger on the, of the sides of your finger onto, onto the fingerprint sensor because you are not every time uh, putting the finger on the scanner exactly the same way. So you get, get, make sure you get the corners and the sides of your finger as well on the touch screen. So there we go, Emotion UI gets started. 
there we are this took a little couple of seconds and there we go Ooh, here there are a little bit of legs of course you this is not smooth at all first impression could be ah now it's smooth it's just getting started so first of all we want to check out how much free storage we still got on the device and we look at this this is a new emotion ui 5.0 design Wow, and this is so colorful. I don't get it. This is standard. There we got this the throne uh, design thingy here, which does not. And, and if you had settings, you get this fantasy land design. So go down. First of all, about phone, we can check out. We got Emotion UI 5.0 and we got Android version 7.0. Then we go to the embedding settings. We locate, what do we locate here? I guess we look at nothing here because memory and storage are on the main screen. There we go. Whoa, this is hard. <laughs> this is hard. 16 gigabytes. Of course, it's uh, you have to calculate bits and bytes. So you don't get 16, you get around 14 Point eight, then you get your OS, but I only got 7.25 gigabytes of storage. This is way, way, this is totally not acceptable. I mean, if you are, if you, if we got a bad, a bad Samsung device where we got only nine gigabytes of free storage and here at 7.25 gigabytes, this is horrible. And uh, can I clear the storage? Is there some sort of, of uh, maybe Android 7.0 is, is, but this is only giving me 23 megabytes. This is way not enough. Whoa, this is, this is really hard. So uh, most of you guys, if this is really, really normal, I guess forget about dual SIM, just get a micro SD for more storage. Let's see, we got the normal Google apps installed. Yes, we got our own gallery app, an own camera app, a contact app, a phone manager, themes, music, video, calendar, notepad. We got tools installed. Yes, we got top apps, Twitter, Instagram, TripAdvisor and Facebook. Okay, good choices. And we got a couple of games pre-installed, but uh, we can, yes, we could uninstall them. I don't do this now. So now let's check out the screen. First of all, heavy reflections really huge reflections but colors look nice contrast as well and let's see about the brightness se uh, settings let's deactivate the auto brightness and turn this device all to the maximum oh this is definitely better yes we got a nice bright screen but we need this brightness level to to compensate for the reflections really heavy reflections reflection ref <laughs> reflections on the device maybe it's really shiny shiny glass so let's turn this back to, to autopilot. And then let's check out the fingerprint scanner. One, two, three, and woo, this is fast. This is fast. This is one thing Huawei is really, really doing well. Uh, fingerprint sensors, they are just amazingly fast and work really, really well. Uh, what about fingerprint one hand uh, usage? No, not activated now. One hand controls are also not activated. Why are they doing this? Let's see. In smart assistant, uh, one handed UI, ah, mini screen view. Yes, please turn it on. And now I can, yes. Because this device is only 5.2 inch, has only a 5.2 inch screen. Um, so no 5.5 inch screen like on the bigger brother, the Honor 6X, uh, 6X which is, uh, I would say, heavy, heaviest uh, opponent of the device. And, but it's definitely not as small as the, also 5.2 inch uh, big Honor 8. This is definitely whole, way thinner, uh, not thinner, but way smaller than, than the Huawei P8. Do you see this? The, the, the P8 Lite 2017 uh, uh, definitely got the design looks of the Honor device. I maybe would have called this device not P8 Lite 2017, but the Honor 8 Lite. This would have been a nice name, a suit fitting name because of the edges to the design, glass back sides. Yes, definitely, this would have been a nice name. Oh, and one thing I'm really missing, uh, the P8 Lite comes with a micro SD, uh, not micro SD, with a micro USB charging port. I don't like that at all. So let's, uh, what did I want to figure out? Yes, screen brightness, okay. Oh, what about the, the fingerprints uh, gestures? I also want activated smart assistant fingerprint ID. There we can do all the things. Show, show notification panel, browse 
photos. So now we can do this, just swipe down to get up to the notifications or to the settings. This is nice. Okay, this works. Um, let's start the camera by, uh, normally we got Android 7.0, so can I just can push twice on the on-off screen. No, uh, on off button. No, if I push the volume down button twice, this will take a quick snap. This is the standard settings of uh, Huawei. And there we are in the camera app. And now let's see, this is a standard, ca standard camera mode. Looks nice, fast. But what now if you activate HDR? Let's see. Oh, also nice. Yes, this takes a couple of moments to, to focus, or not to focus, but to, to save the image. Let's see all the, those images. Oh, this is again rotation, not, not problems, but this the, the same old glitches we had with our old Emotion UI versions. Let's see. Yeah, okay. But what about picture quality? But first impression of, oh, this is nice. Nice sharp corners, nice sharp corners here. First impression is, is really well. And you have to keep in mind, this is a 200, not even a 250 euro device. This is a 240 euros device starting price. And for that, of course, this was just a one snap. This is not sharp as well as two. Don't expect any wonders here, but there we got a sharp image. And yes, definitely, definitely usable. So this is a new uh, camera OS. This are the settings. Okay, no, no, this aren't the settings. This are the modes. There we go. Swipe to the other side for settings. And yes, finally, horizontal settings. We got a 12 megapixel camera. Keep in mind the P9 Lite still got a 30 megapixel camera. So they went one megapixel down here. But first impression is way better than on the P9 camera. Okay, four by three resolution. Yes, I want an assistant grid, please. Mute, uh, this are the buttons, gesture, touch control, object tracking, okay. And we go back, Heads, hits over to the video mode. Uh, and video settings are, let's see, swipe. There we go. Resolution 720p, why Huawei is doing it again, why? Uh, the standard setting is 720p, it should be full HD, 1080p, mute object tracking, the same again. Uh, we don't get a stabilizer, we don't get any, uh, we got, don't get an optical image stabilization. Of course, not for a price of 240 euros. So now I have spoken something, let's just listen to the recording. Yes, definitely shaking. Uh, but first impression of the video Don't quality, why, why, why not? Yes, definitely no, no stabilization here. But for a 240 euro device, why not? Why not? So first impression is okay. I definitely have to say we still are, have they still have some software glitches. Uh, Emotion UI 5.0 and Android 7.0 is not working that smoothly here. Um, first for, for the first user user um, experience, let's call it this way. But overall, I have to say, nice looking phone, well built. I like the material. We will have a big shootout between the P8 Lite 2017 and the Honor 6X. This is, will be an interesting battle. Uh, not only from the design language, but also screen size. Uh, we got the bigger battery on the Honor 6X. We got we got this uh, additional two megapixel camera. We got the full body aluminium here, but on the other side, we got this nice design glass thingy. But this is it for the first impression video. And in combination, first impression is really, really nice. So this is it, guys. Thank you for watching and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye.